For a lot of generations gone by, having a pen pal in another country was a big part of their childhood experience, an experience that is now being offered to grade five and six students at Steinbach Christian High School. SCHS has partnered with Child Care International, a global Christian organization whose mission is to break the cycle of child poverty through child sponsorship. Child Care International has developed the Kids for Kids program that aims to link school children from the material world with those of the majority world. SCHS Vice Principal Scott Wheat says the program was a natural fit with the mandate of his school. This came about last year already at one point. We, uh, we focused a little bit of our in-servicing on our Christian perspective here at Steinbeck Christian High School. And um, through that, it became evident to us that uh, part of our mission statement of having a Christian perspective was also to extend beyond our own walls. And uh, as we looked at that internally in our own school, this opportunity with Child Care International, which is a Canadian organization that works with churches in other parts of the world, uh, came to us and asked us if we wanted to partner with them in some educational things. And so out of those discussions um, over the summer and into the early part of fall now, um, we, as we discussed it, we felt that it was best for us to partner with a school in Kitgum, Uganda. SCHS has partnered with the Faith Alive Academy in Kitgum. In keeping with the Thanksgiving holiday, students at the Faith Academy have sent letters to the Steinbach students expressing the things for which they're thankful. Steinbach Christian High School students are doing the same in return. Rhonda Blanchett teaches the grade 5 class at SCHS and says her students were very excited at the prospect of participating in the Kids for Kids program. Oh wow, we were just so thrilled when we found out that we were going to be partnering up with a school in, a new school in Uganda. And the children have been super uber pumped about it since we saw the, the a video this morning about the state of their school and how it is so different from our school and yet they're so excited to go to school every day and learn. And uh, to them, just their very simple building is enough for them, but we want to partner up with them and help them out as much as we can. Aside from connecting with students in a different part of the world and learning about their cultural differences, Rhonda Blanchett hopes that her students will take even more away from their letter writing experience. I am really hoping that our class and our children here will learn the importance of giving and to be very thankful in, in this uh, current season of Thanksgiving to be thankful for what they have and uh, to know that we have so much and they need to be generous and we are going to be blessed from the giving that we do. It does seem that Blanchett's students have a good grasp on what it means to be truly thankful. I think it means that you, about how you're not supposed to be greedy and that you're supposed to be thankful for what you have because there are a lot of kids who don't ha have as much. And for these grade five students, there's a lot to be thankful for. I am thankful for the Bible, for the kids that are writing to us, and for my family. Uh, family, my house, and everything else I have. Meeting my new friends in Uganda, and um, for my family, and for my friends. SCHS Vice Principal Scott Weeb hopes that the relationships his students are forging with the students at Faith Academy in Uganda will continue to grow into the future. Hopefully our grade fives and sixes who are in the program right now doing the correspondence will be able to build relationships with the students that are out there over many years. So that as our students grow up and theirs grow up, there's a one-to-one -one relationship there that will develop. For Steinbeck Online, I'm Karen Black.